King Charles is not happy with his son and daughter-in-law. He orders to strip Harry and Meghan of their royal titles. For King Charles, enough is enough. On the same day, he marked three months as sovereign, a destiny he'd waited 73 years for. The king found himself sat in front of the television, lawyers on speed dial and senior aides waiting anxiously at the door, watching the most explosive TV tell-all in royal history, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's Netflix series. According to New Ideas Source, Harry appears hell-bent on destroying his family and everything they hold dear. While the Queen was alive, Charles was forced to be more lenient than he would have liked about the Harry and Meghan problem. Now, dealing with it is his job alone, and he will simply not stand for them making a mockery of the monarchy while still profiting from their titles. He wants them stripped, but most people don't realise he can't do it alone. It's reported that King Charles began testing the waters with British Parliament in recent months when he lobbied to include his siblings Princess Anne and Prince Edward as councillors of state, not quite firing Prince Harry and Prince Andrew, but eliminating the need to call on them should the king be overseas or incapacitated. Charles is a shrewd operator, and while he's not meant to meddle in politics, he knows how it all works, says a source. When Parliament quickly agreed to examine the issue, he realised he may have enough support to start the next phase. Having an MP introduce a member's bill to give the king the power to strip the Sussexes of their dukedom. And after what he saw on Netflix, this day couldn't come a moment too soon. Moreover, poll results show that nearly half of Britons polled want the Sussexes to be stripped of their titles, while over 40% also believe Harry should be removed from the official line of succession over his actions within the media. Besides, top politicians have said the Sussexes should stay away when King Charles is crowned at Westminster Abbey on May the 6th. There are fears that crowds could turn on the husband and wife if Harry jets into the UK to watch his father in the historic ceremony. Former Tory leader Ian Duncan Smith said, if they dislike the royal family so much, why would they attend the coronation? And David Mellor, a former MP and cabinet minister, added, they shouldn't come to the coronation, they categorically shouldn't come. They make money out of selling their family down the river. I think it should be made clear that the British people don't want them there. Historian and author Lady Antonia Fraser also confessed that she hoped the Sussexes wouldn't be at the coronation because she wanted the king and queen to be the centre of attention. It worries me that if they come, the cameras might waste time on them, she continued. They should stay holding hands in Hollywood. Meanwhile, royal expert Phil Dampier claimed the royals can no longer pretend that this isn't a very serious matter and keep forgiving Harry and Meghan. Phil continues, This feud shows no signs of slowing down, most of the British public think they should be stripped of their royal titles, but it's not a simple process. Charles has always kept his door open, but he may be forced to change his mind after seeing this series. He adds, We've been told the royals are weary of the Sussexes' outbursts and that they'll retain a dignified silence, but I'm not sure I believe that.